All right, here's something I see all the time. This ain't your mama's case. It ain't your daddy's case. It ain't your husband's case, your wife's case, your boyfriend's case, or your girlfriend's case. So let's talk about it. I'm your lawyer, Patrick McGinn. I am your best friend at your worst time. I get hired on a lot of cases by relatives of defendants, boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands, wives of defendants, spouses, whatever. Um, whoever, whoever hires me on the case to represent somebody else doesn't seem to understand that the person who is the actual defendant is the client in the case. Just because you hired a lawyer and you paid the lawyer does not mean that the privilege between attorney and client extends to you. I am not going to tell you details about the client's case and discuss case strategies and case progress and case resolution with you if you are not actually the client because that causes all kinds of ethical concern. Now that's not to say that a client can't authorize me to discuss certain things with you and I will require that authorization to be in a written form but as far as case strategy, case management, and which way to go in the case, that is solely the client's decision. The problems I've seen where I've had clients in their 30s and 40s and 50s whose parents, you know, some, for some reason their parents hire me on the case to represent them. And you would think these, these defendants were like kids. They still treat them like kids. They don't treat them like adults at all. And they want to call all the shots in the client's case. That's not going to happen. The major aspects of the case are always going to be decided by the client. And it causes a lot of problems in these cases because I get a lot of grief from these parents and spouses. But it also causes a lot of problems and it can get so bad. I mean, I've had cases where it's so bad that I've told the people, listen, don't call me anymore. If you have any questions, ask, ask the client. If the client wants to tell you, the client can tell you. I'm not going to tell you these details. I have not been authorized to tell you these details. And they get fairly mad. I've had cases where... Um, I represented in custody clients and the boyfriend, I represented this lady, the boyfriend wanted me to subpoena all her call records, her jail records for her telephone calls so he could find out who she was talking to while she was in custody. That's just not going to happen. I've had cases where I've, I've had parents write letters and without telling me, write letters directly to a judge that is seen by the state attorney that provides evidence to the prosecution to prosecute you. The, the involvement of outside person in your case, you know, outside family members, spouses, whatever, is, is not acceptable and can a lot of times harm you and just mess your case up something terrible. So just remember, if you hire a lawyer to represent somebody else, whoever is the defendant, is the client that calls the shot. If you're the defendant and somebody else hires me to represent you or hires a lawyer to represent you, understand that you can tell people what you want, but that can come with a risk of destroying the attorney-client privilege. So just remember that for your next case or if you get a criminal case. They mean well, but they can really cause a problem in your case and for you personally.